Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the AEW Unrivaled Collection Luchasaurus figure from Jazzwares. This is the first figure I have ordered, A, from Ringside Collectibles, and B, uh, from the Jazzwares AEW line. Um, I, they always looked really cool, and I'm kind of glad I got my hands on some. Uh, you can see I got Pinta here in the background, and uh, Luchasaurus, to probably the surprise of no one, I didn't even know who he was. I hadn't like heard of him, and then I saw the figure reveal and was like, I need that. <laughs> so, uh, so I ordered it, and you know, the, after some slight miscommunications, it definitely showed up at my door, and I am super happy with it. There's a couple of issues um, that are absolutely fixable, but we'll get into that in the following sections. So, without further ado, let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, uh, Luchasaurus here looks really good. Um, a lot of the paint apps are very, very clean. Uh, the tattoos are very, very clear. Uh, everything looks good. The face sculpt is fantastic, um, especially considering um, I also have Penta Zero M here, and Penta is just not quite as detailed. It doesn't look as alive, but Luchasaurus here, I mean, again, this I think was the very first wave they did versus the most current one. I'm actually not sure. This might be wave six or something like that, but looks great. The trunks, uh, super like well detailed. The colors, like the metallics, really, really pop. Just great details, even on the feet. I didn't realize he didn't wear boots until I got the figure, uh, so that's pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, just like really good looking figure. When it comes to accessories, you don't really get a lot with the Luchasaurus, which kind of makes sense. He doesn't come down to the ring with a whole bunch of gear. Um, so all you get is a second set of hands. So equipped on him in the packaging, you get these nice splayed out hands. Uh, worth noting that they did do the tattoos and the uh, green fingertips on these, which is a really nice touch. You don't always get that with spare hands and figures. Um, let's see if he's gonna stand here. All right. <laughs> and then you get two kind of like semi-gripping hands, which again, have the exact same amount of detail, just really well done. So not a lot to speak of, but it's good. Now coming up to articulation, this is where the loose hips that I mentioned earlier kind of become a hindrance because there's not much I can, many poses I can get them into now. However, the uh, range of motion is pretty impressive, especially when compared to a lot of the Mattel stuff. So starting with the head, we are on a ball hinge, but because of the sculpt with the hair, oh, as you can see, <laughs> not gonna get too much up. And not really any down before the head just kind of pops off, but you can look all around. Not really any tilt. Arms come up all the way so you can get your T-pose a little bit past the T-phase. Uh, you got your bicep swivel. You have double jointed elbows. Get you to about there. Uh, and then you get your swivel and your hinge on the hands. Then you have two ball joints, much like you had with the um, Boss Fight Studios Legend of Lucha Libre stuff. So you can do a lot of like swirly stuff, however, there isn't really enough clearance under this second piece to get you, oh, <laughs> as you can see, it's on a ball joint there, um, there's a socket right there that it pops into, that freaked me out the first time it happened, um, but if you really work with it, you can kind of get a little bit more of a crunch, it does take a little bit of work though, and they can come back about that far, then splits, really good, like fantastic, but again, you can see that kind of <laughs> working against me there. Uh, can't really come forward though because of the way they sculpted it. So that could probably be sanded down. Uh, not really any back. You do get thigh swivel. You also get double jointed knees, but because they do the um, knee pads as a separate piece, it's a little hard. So you can move it up a little bit, but it's not going to grant you too much more. So we're about there. Uh, no boot cut at all. So that's not a thing. Uh, you get some decent toe point, even with the way they have the tassels here on the back, they don't really get in the way. Uh, not really anything forward. And then really generous pivot. So again, really impressive range of motion. Just uh, I need to work on those hips a little bit. So I'm going to try and see if I can find something new. Uh, maybe some kicks or something like that. See if I can get those a little more solid. So that's articulation. Jumping into size comparisons, here he is with some other wrestling figures. Here he is with a bunch of random Hasbro stuff. 
Here he is with some SH figure arts and some storm collectibles. Here he is with various monsters and dinosaurs. And finally, here he is with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly as an articulated icons ninja. So my final thoughts on the AEW Unrivaled Collection Luchasaurus figure. This is a super fun and solid figure. Uh, great sculpt, fantastic paint, uh, good range of motion in the articulation. Only thing that kind of knocks that down a peg or two for me is the uh, loose hips. So hopefully I'll be able to fix that in the future. Um, and yeah, I definitely recommend it. Certainly if you are a fan of wrestling and AEW and Luchasaurus in particular, uh, maybe you just like dinosaur themed things. That was the first thing that caught my attention naturally. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend it there. Uh, so in order to find it, I will uh, be including a link in the description. The only place I know of to purchase this online, that isn't eBay, is uh, Ringside Collectibles, aka WrestlingFigures.com. And I believe they have it up for like another round up for pre-order right now on their website. So you'll be able to go straight there. Uh, supposedly this line is in stores. However, I've only ever seen a single AEW Unrivals figure on a peg once ever. So hopefully that gets they get easier to find as the year goes on. That's something that they change because I know they're really ramping up their promotion. So fingers crossed there. <laughs> Uh, but with that all being said, uh, I hope you found this entertaining and, and, and informative. And uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, uh, I do, I'm covering a lot more wrestling figures lately. So if you're into wrestling, that's something I'll be covering more of. I also tend to co cover tokusatsu and um, do some, some Marvel Legends, stuff like that. Uh, obviously dinosaur related stuff. So yeah, if you like figures of those varieties, I have a ton of reviews up and we'll continue to do more so please like comment and subscribe uh if you want to, if you really like what's going on you want to support the channel further i will have ways to do that in the description i am starting to set up some more merch and uh yeah so thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you have a fantastic night and um yeah so be kind to yourself be kind to those around you and most importantly stay weird simians